It's summertime outside, but what do you do about your long, thick, double-coated dog? Do you shave them? Or how in the world do you keep them cool? Up next on Yeti Spice. To find the best tips and tricks for dog ownership, be sure to subscribe, click that bell notification, and check out our links down below. Hot weather and thick, long-coated dogs. How do you keep them cool? Well, their double coat is no joke. Their thick double coat helps insulate them from those harsh summer sun rays. But should you shave it? The answer is no. Don't shave their thick, beautiful coat because their pink skin has never ever seen the light of day. And if you shave their coat, they would get sunburned really badly and they could suffer a heat stroke. The thick double coat helps insulate them much like a cooler insulates what's inside the cooler. I know it's a strange concept, but that's how it works with a thick double coated dog. They pant to release the heat through their sweat glands in their tongue and also in the pads of their feet. Yeah, I'm holding your paw. Their noses also sweat. If you want one of these dogs, you'll have to have air conditioning because of that long, thick double coat. Now, Sammy's, like Yeti, originated in Siberia. Same with Huskies. So you do want to keep them cool by having a comfortable living condition inside with air conditioning. And you want to keep them living inside with you. Now, you can bring them out on walks. Walks are recommended in the early morning or evening around sunset. If they're outside, you want to make sure that they have plenty of water and plenty of shade. You don't want to keep them out for a long period of time because even though this thick outer coat helps insulate them from those harsh summer sun rays, it is like wearing a parka outside when it's 100 degrees. You don't want them to overheat. You can get them a refrigeratable cooling pad and a cooling collar. You would put those in the fridge or freezer. The cooling pad though might be a little bit too big to stick in the, the freezer or the refrigerator so you'd want to get a nice big cooler and stick that in the cooler. You wanna make sure that they have plenty of cold water. Chewy, my first Sammy Ed, used to love ice cubes. I would fill his water dish with ice cubes and water and he would just go crazy over it. Yeah, he doesn't really care too much for ice cubes, but you do wanna get them cold water. The colder, the better. Sprinklers and shade. Now they will love running through the sprinklers just as little kids love running through the sprinklers. And you wanna be able to provide shade and plenty of water outside for them. Frozen treats for your dog, like that doggy ice cream. Fill a tray with ice cubes. And you can also get some specially shaped ice cubes just for your dog. You can fill those ice cubes with different fruits like strawberries. Oh my goodness, once they discover that strawberry in the middle of that ice cube or that blueberry or whatever type of fruit you put in that middle of the ice cube, they will be begging for more. Most dogs love carrots, so if you chill a carrot or even freeze a carrot, that's a special enticing treat for them. You could have watermelon and yogurt and stick those in the freezer. Vanilla ice cream for your dog, like even people vanilla, but it's preferable though if you get them doggy ice cream, specially made for dogs. If they're outside with you and the family, you can get a kitty swimming pool, fill it with water, stick some doggy toys in there, and your dog will have a lot of fun racing around, playing with the doggy toys, and playing with the children outside. Many northern breed dogs love laying in the bathroom along the cold tile floor and along the porcelain bathtub. So we do have another family member, Sammy Ed, who's never been on this channel before. His name is Toby. Toby lays right in the owner's shower all day long and just sleeps in there because it's nice and cool in there. The water isn't on at all, but it's a nice porcelain tile floor and it's very cool in there. So he just camps out right in the middle of the shower all day. And Toby does have air conditioning. If you live in the city and are walking your dog outside along the hot pavement or on hot sand at the beach, be sure to put booties on your dog. Now, the first few times wearing booties, your dog is gonna walk really strangely, but just get them used to the booties by putting them on just one paw at a time and having them walk around getting used to that one paw being in a booty and then put it on the other paw and then just practice it over time and your dog, dog gets used to it. But that will protect the pads of their feet from getting burned and being in a lot of pain. Groom your dog and bathe them to keep them looking not only pretty, but also to help keep them cool. Because when they get brushed, it's like you taking a shower or a bath. You feel really good afterwards. So during the hot summer sun, Yeti walks in the early morning, before sunrise most of the time, or right around sunrise, and then he walks in the evening right around dusk because we like walking him during the cooler times of the day. If you'd like more tips and tricks for hot summer sun dog ownership, be sure to check out this video and we'll bark at you next time.